Good blessings, good blessings, my brothers and sisters in this truth. All praises to the Most High. Through our Savior's name, let's get our swords out the mud. My brothers and sisters, let's get into this read. Let's get into this read. Let's get into this feed. This feed, brothers and sisters, of the word, of the word, our most high. Now, brothers and sisters, let's get into the book of Luke. Let's get into the book of Luke, chapter 10. Verse 25. The book of Luke chapter 10 verse 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him. Him is our Savior. Saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And that's where you get the lawyer now from in the uh in the in the courts. You know, a lawyer is one that studied in the law, in the justice system of man, right? Lawyer. You know in these times There was a lawyer in those lawyers were like the Pharisees and they they studied the law. They studied the law, right, of the most high. The Moses they uh the laws of Moses. Right? Now, the Mosaic Law, okay, so that's where you get the lawyer, the word lawyer from, brothers and sisters, and uh, and that was just a touch up on it for those who did not know, uh, nothing is new up under the sun, brothers and sisters. Let's get to this read. Verse 26. He said to him, This is our Savior, speaking to the lawyer. What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So our Savior said to the lawyer once again, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So our Savior, in return, is asking the lawyer what is written in the law and what is your reading of it? What is your interpretation? So the lawyer answered our Savior and said, so he answered and said, you, this is our lawyer speaking. I mean, the, yeah, this this is the lawyer speaking to our Savior. Excuse me. So he answered and said, You shall love the Most High, your Father, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have answered rightly. Do this and you will live. 
So our servant said, you answer correctly. You, you know, our savior responded to the lawyer and said, you answer correctly. That is the right meaning. You have the right meaning. Right? But since you have the right meaning, you must also do this and you will live. Brothers and sisters. Our Savior, verse 20, verse 28, our Savior says, and he said to him, him is the lawyer, he is our Savior, right? And he said to him, you have answered rightly, do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, said to our Savior, and who is my neighbor? Hmm. Brothers and sisters, nothing is new up under the sun. The spirit. The spirit. Of division. Of self-righteousness. You know, the spirit of division, the only division that we should have is the division from the world, brothers and sisters. That is it. We should build up the spirit in one another, provide a light. Instead of hiding the lamp that has light in it, as scripture says, put the, do not suppress the truth. Put that light out in the darkness for those to see it, brothers and sisters. To give them direction in the dark. My brothers and sisters. So yes, this spirit of one up and the next. Instead of. Glorifying the most high. Serving him. And therefore since we serve him. We are in his image. And he provides for us. So we must provide. And do the same. My brothers and sisters. For everyone. Being a light constantly. For those to come out of darkness. Verse 30. Then our Savior answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead so a certain man went down from Jer from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves who stripped him of his clothing wounded him and departed him leaving him half dead now by chance a certain priest came down that road and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And this was a certain priest that seen 
a man from Jerusalem to Jericho seen this man stripped of his clothing, wounded and half dead and the priest passed by on the other side, brothers and sisters verse 32 likewise a Levite that's verse 32 Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. And that was a Levite, brothers and sisters. Verse 33, but a certain Samaritan but a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion. Brothers and sisters, you know we have the story in the scriptures of the Samaritan woman. You know, the good Samaritan. You know, and that saying is, that saying's in the world, and that's where that came from. Being a good Samaritan. Right? And when you say that worldly, it even implies that you were doing a good deed. A Samaritan, brothers and sisters. So, brothers and sisters, we must comprehend. We must comprehend. That it is not about the flesh, but of the spirit. It is not about the flesh, but it's about the spirit, brothers and sisters. We are all, all up under the creator. Brothers and sisters, the Most High is not concerned with the outer space, but with the inner space once again. The Most High has created everything. He says the hair on your head is numbered. Uh -huh. And like our Savior said, what is that to you? All you need to do is do what the Most High has told you to do. Our Savior said, follow me. You stay in your lane. My brothers and sisters, in your lane, if you want life, if you are living according to how the most high wills, is to do his will, my brothers and sisters, and not yours, and not yours, not laying on your own understanding which will lead you away. It is not your will. It is not how you feel, but it's how the most high desires. It is what he commands. That is what we do, my brothers and sisters. Let's get back to this read. Verse 
verse 34. So when, excuse me, verse 34, so he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn and took care of him. So the so the good Samaritan bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine, and then he put him on his animal because he was hurt. Right, the man was hurt. So so the Samaritan put the man that was hurt on his animal. And brought him to an inn. And took care of him. So took him. To the inn. I in in. And took care of him. Took him to a place and took care of him brothers and sisters. Verse 35. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said to him, take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So the Samaritan, on the next day, when he was leaving, he took out two denarii, which is two coins, and gave them to the innkeeper and said to him, take care of him and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. That's taking, brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, That's your neighbor. Everybody is being a light. My brothers and sisters, a certain Samaritan and a certain man ran into each other. Neighbors brothers and sisters and that neighbor was hurt and you had the Levite and a priest that walked by and did nothing are we comprehending it's not about the outer but the inner Verse 36. So which of these three do you think was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? Verse 36, once again. So which of these three do you think was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And this is the this is the lawyer speaking back answering our savior. And he said, he who showed mercy on him. Then our savior said to him, go and do likewise. I, then our savior said to him, go and do likewise. Go and do likewise, my brothers and sisters. And that's show mercy, my brothers and sisters. All praises to the Most High, my brothers and sisters. All praises to the Most High, my brothers and sisters. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 1. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 1. 
judge not that you be not judged. Judge not that you be not judged. For with what judge meant you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. And say, brothers and sisters, that's where you get that. The world gives you that word karma. You cover in. Anything, anything but the scriptures, right? Anything but the scriptures, they, that's where they give you karma. Instead of just giving you Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. In verse 2. Verse 3. And by do you look, excuse me, verse 3, and why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? We'll run that back. And why? Do you look at the speck in your brother's eye? So the speck in your brother's eye, you looking at. But do not consider the plank in your own eye. A plank is way bigger than a speck. And that's where you get the saying they got the, when, when, when you got one finger poor, pointing out towards somebody. You got three pointing back at yourself. You got one point, one finger pointing out at someone. And you, but you got three pointing back at yourself. Be a light, brothers and sisters. Show glory. Warn your brothers and sisters. If. They are walking in dark or in darkness to separate my brothers and sisters, but we must have mercy and compassion. This is how the most high has with us when he has brought us out. My brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Now, we're going to get back to this read. We're going to get back to this read, my brothers and sisters. Verse 4. Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye and look, a plank is in your own eye. We run that back. Verse 4, chapter 7 in Matthew. Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye and look, a plank is in your own eye. So you... You're trying to get the speck from your brother's eye. But you got a plank in yours. My brothers and sisters. We must have comprehension and overstanding. Over comprehension and overstanding. My brothers and sisters, you know when you when you when you eating that food, you got a comprehension on how it tastes, right? So that's a must when when we consuming, we must 
overtasted. My brothers and sisters, it's delicious. So yes, brothers and sisters, we must have mercy and long suffering and love for the most high. My brothers and sisters, when we doing these things, the most high will is done, is being done. You are doing the will of the most high. Examine yourself. So we must have comprehension that since we are constantly under attack, <gasps> the others are as well. So we must be, brothers and sisters, we must be delicate and loving and compassion, being in light to our neighbor, to our, to our neighbor, brothers and sisters. Love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Love our neighbor as we love ourselves, my brothers and sisters. Verse 5, hypocrite, first remove the plank from your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Man, you can't see. You got a big plank in your eye. You can't see correctly, man. <coughs> My brothers and sisters, we must get ourselves in order. First, examine yourself first, my brothers and sisters. Yeah, examine yourself first and since a lot. Because of the world, a lot of us are accustomed to not doing that, not examining ourselves. We are taught to idolize, right? So to idolize, that means you're spending a lot of time doing Doing a lot of observance on other things, on other people, instead of taking the time to examine yourself. That's what the world pushes, fast pace, my brothers and sisters. So you cannot examine yourself. The world is loud. So you can't think, you hear me? It's too loud. Let's get back to this read. Verse six, do not give what is holy to the dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn and tear you in pieces. 
Do not give what is holy to the dogs. We must comprehend, brothers and sisters. Once we be in the light, we just continue to be a light. We just continue to be a light. But we must comprehend. We must comprehend that some only come out at night. They can see at night. They don't need the light. Right? So, you have to be aware. And being aware is just constantly being a light, brothers and sisters. The Most High will provide all protection, love, guidance, everything. Remember, you have those that like to come out at night. They don't need the light. They like to walk around while others are sleeping. You see? That's you see, you see, you, you comprehend what I'm saying. That's how they thrive. Because they mask around. While those are sleeping. They don't come around when you awake. When it's daytime. huh? Let's get it. Verse 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, it will be opened. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, I love you. Do not be deceived. Y'all stay prayerful and keep your lamps filled with light.